The promise of the covenant is fulfilled in the Catholic Church. We are the continuation of Israel. seven years ago when Cambridge University historian John Cornwell was given access to the secret Vatican archives. Now Cornwell was a good Catholic. He'd written a best-selling book about the death of Pope John Paul I and the Vatican fully expected him to exonerate Pius XII. Indeed, Cornwell himself hoped that the rumors about Nazi collusion were untrue. But to his horror, he found the opposite. Document after document proved that Eugenio Pacelli, the man who became Pope in 1939, stands as a monumental moral failure. A man more concerned with centralizing church authority than with the murder of millions of people. A man not only complicit with the rise of the Nazi party, but according to Cornwell, a man whose silence about the fate of the Jews betrayed a deeply embedded anti-Semitic attitude. Well, first of all, why did he go to Germany? Why was he sent there? And the reason is the instrument, the effective instrument of creating an ideology out of the whole idea of papal primacy was this new drafting of a, a code of canon law. For the, for the first law. time in, in the church's history, we had a code of canon law. Um, but they had a, a problem, and the, that problem was Germany, because uh, Germany had one of the largest Catholic populations in the world, 23 million. It, had, it was wealthy, complex, um, highly sophisticated, many Catholic universities, publishing houses, 400 Catholic newspapers, and a, and a really effective um, democratic political party called the Centre Party. So his purpose in Germany was to renegotiate all these old treaties and bring them in line with the new code, um, which effectively would um, submit the German Catholic um, population to a new allegiance to the Holy See Year after year, he attempted to pursue this concordat, the right concordat, and he was turned down by successive chancellors, five of whom were Catholics, because they thought that the Vatican attempts were too authoritarian. It wasn't until Hitler emerged in power in January of 1933 that the chance for these two supreme authoritarians to come together and to do a deal um, came about. The price of this concordat, the price of this deal, was that the Catholic Centre Party, under the encouragement of Pacelli, should vote Hitler into his dictatorship and then voluntarily disband itself with the blessing of uh, the Holy See, the Vatican, which is why so many Catholics after this, because they had no political home to go, went in their hundreds of thousands into the Nazi Party.
one day, one of our militia members, a Christian militia in the south, came to us and he said, I just want to let you know that tonight we're going to be attacked and we may die because we had lost so many people and I don't think we can fight. And I just want to wish you a merciful death. And I remember dressing in my burial clothes at age 13 because I did not want to look ugly when I'm dead because I wanted to look pretty. And I remember putting on my Easter dress that my mother had made for me. And we had a two-hour ceasefire. And my mother was combing my long hair and tying a white ribbon in it that matched the white flowers in my dress. And I stood there looking at the little mirror in the bomb shelter crying, begging her, I don't want to die. I'm only 13 years old. The only reason I didn't die that night is because that night is when Israel came in physically into Lebanon. And Israel started coming in in the middle of the night from 1976 to 1978, bringing food for the children, blinking, bringing bomb shelters to the people who didn't have a bomb shelter, bringing blankets to the family, bringing medication, bringing food for the military, bringing ammunition to the Christians, and teaching them how to fight, taking them into Israel to be trained.
So how bad is the missionary situation in Israel? The problem is very, very serious. Um, there's something like 80 missionary congregations throughout the country. Um, they, they have tremendous chutzpah. They, they put their billboards um, inviting people to follow uh, Jay on buses, on buses in major cities, in major ads. Um, they, they prey on the weak. They, they target Jews who are ignorant and who are in great distress economically and socially, and they befriend them, and they come through with all kinds of financial benefits, especially now at the start of the school year. They'll be there handing out book bags to kids and doing all kinds of things under the pretense of being good friends and uh, welcoming faces, but they really have an agenda. And I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and pleas for mercy, so that when they look on me, on him whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him, as one mourns for an only child, and weep bitterly over him, as one weeps over a firstborn.